welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I would do a plan with me video. I don't do these often, but I did decide that I was going to do this today because I realized that I have not shared my home planner since, you know, several videos back. So um, I know that there are a lot of people on this channel who are not into discs. But hopefully uh, you'll find this one enjoying or enjoyable. So yeah, I did not use my disc bound planner for the month of uh, May. I actually um, just found it to be a little bit overwhelming for this month. And I just, I stuck with my bullet journal and yeah, that helped for some time. But now with everything that's going on, I really need to have my home planner. I thought I was going to be able to shelf it for the summer, but this really just keeps everyone in line with what's going on. So today we are going to set up for the month of June. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but hopefully we can get through it in a decent amount of time. So let's go. First of all, I got a new cover. Um, This cover, I actually got this cover when she first made it so I think the day she announced it I went and I purchased it because usually when she announces like uh stuff like this they kind of sell out really really quick so the first day she announced it I hurried and I got one and this is like the cork color or the cork cover and it's from paperbound creations um and it has like this hollowy like look to it on the like this iridescent look it's very pretty I wasn't exactly thrilled about it at first because it, you know it's just something different but I do like it so yeah um got a new cover so that helps but yeah let's go ahead and jump into this so my um I've got lots of stuff on my desk my home planner for those who are very new to the channel this is my catch-all planner it literally has everything that you can probably think of my tabbed out sections right now i have june july august september october november um for do i have december in here i don't have december in here but anyway i have these tabs in here for the weeklies and then i have three months of dailies i want to say yeah, I have three months of dailies. I have a meal section. Uh, so I have a medical section, a wellness section, and a, uh, well, within the meal section, I have the recipe planner. So yes, I have lots of stuff in my uh, home planner if you are brand new to the channel. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm not going to do daily pages. I just feel like that to me is just way too much. I did change some stuff up in my dismount. Um, a lot of it is basically the same. Um, I did kind of like, you know, just add like little tidbits, things that are like irrelevant. But I did go ahead and add these task cards. You probably recognize them from my um tanya plans compact uh trifold pink binder you'll probably recognize them from there i wasn't using personal rings and i did purchase these cards to be a guide so i kind of transferred them to this since this was the home planner um and then yeah so nothing really uh significant changed the only things that I've added um, really is, I, sh I talked about this last time, but the only real big thing that I added is that now my, I've got my tri uh, tripod in the middle of me, so very weird, but now my little like dashboard bookmark page has quite a few things in it that I'm going to be filling out for this month. Um, so now I have my like my card and my weekly card. I got a routine card. Uh, some of this is transferred over from my personal. Well, it's, it's a compact, but a lot of it was transferred over because obviously this is the planner that I'm using the most. So this is where we are. I'm going to do my dashboard um, probably today 
And then also we've got the weekly to fill out. I print these off. These are from Day Designer. It's just a general cleaning schedule and I usually fill this out and then follow it for the week. So that's what's gonna get filled out today. And then I have to fill out my week. Um, I'm gonna show you how I do that. The other thing that I added for this month is I glued down a habit tracker. Um, those of you who uh, are familiar with my, like the inserts and stuff that I use, this is a free printable from Wonderful Planning. Um, I like her inserts because they're free, um, one. And then two, she has a ton, like a crap ton, a big variety of inserts that you can get for like all kinds of sizes. So um, I cut this down. This is made for half letter or A5, I think. And I just cut it down and glued it in here so that I had a tracker for the month. Um, this is this is what I use to do my um, general like uh, cleaning task. So like in the very front, um, let's see. So like in the very front, I have like a cleaning schedule card this basically tells me what everything is from for the week i rewrite a lot of stuff all the time because i change oops i change stuff around so much due to schedules and uh things that may be going on in life so i use this to basically just write i write a lot of like what i'm going to be doing for this specific week or for this month if it does change from this i do rechange them every month so that um it's more true to what I'm doing for each day and then I just follow up with um like I said I use this tracker for like a cleaning checklist it basically will have oops okay it basically will have like everything that I need to do for out for the house and stuff and so when I do it I'll check off or I'll dot when I've done it. If you're familiar with my my planning and all of that stuff, then you've seen me do this before. It's basically just holding myself accountable for getting my house chores and things like that done. Um, and then I'm able to see it visually for the entire month like this. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff. I'm trying to update you guys while talking and all of that jazz. I actually use black ink for my weekly but I'm gonna rock out with blue and see how I feel about blue so I'm gonna do some um I'm gonna do some stickers I feel like that's needed I'm also gonna take these pages out because we cannot stay in this and plan it's just like the way that my setup is, it's just not working out. I've also got to do my monthly, but I'm going to do that another time. I'm also going to pull one of these. And I'm pulling things because I want to show you guys how I basically set up for the month. Um, and how I set up for like the week and all of that stuff. So I want to be as realistic as possible. Hopefully we can get through a lot of this without having oh, this tripod, without having to stop too much. So I'm going to grab um, my dashboard stickers and I'll be right back. All right. So um, before I start a week um so this dashboard area it's basically like my general like everything this is how i keep up with everything i'm actually going to switch for black ink for this because i don't know i just prefer black <laughs> well i kind of like blue too <laughs> i kind of like blue too we'll see we'll see we'll just keep these two here for the time being but anyway what i do is i lay these down and I cover these things and I basically just write in like our events. So because um, June is like our family vacation month and also the fact that my son has a lot of different appointments going on, 
um, we tend to have a much more, I'm trying to figure out how I want this to go. I think I want it to go like, sort of like this. Um, I'm not too finicky about these, but I do kind of try to get the one to be actually up. That makes sense. But anyway, since my family has like a lot of stuff going on and my son also um, has stuff going on, um, this is like my little general breakdown of everything that needs to happen for this month. So usually I have like a visual of like, okay, uh, these are all the things that need to be accomplished this month. And I follow this and then I kind of check off. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But when in doubt, uh, this is like my little cheat sheet. And I got that on. Super cricket. Let's see if I can pull it up. I should be able to. These are supposed to be repositional stickers. They're supposed to be able to come up and not tear. So let's see. Okay. <laughs> um, it's also a little weird for me that I'm doing this on camera because I don't usually do plan with me's like this on camera, but I figured it would be something new since I don't usually do them. Now for this, I usually break this part up. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. I have like a bunch of little stickers and things that I could use. But I don't know. Hmm. Let's go with, let's just go with these and then write in our uh, events for this month. So the, the birthdays that we do have, I will keep this one birthdays. The birthdays we have is that my son turns the big two. So that's fun. Um, and where we're going, I won't announce where we're going, but um it's going to be real fun. I'm super excited. Everyone has their stuff together. My mother-in-law is coming. So it should be a great time for everyone. Um, I'm hoping to just capture some fun family memories and things like that. So yeah, super fun. Um, but hopefully we can get through this week first because we've got to get through three weeks of chaos before we can get there to vacation time. So hopefully we can do that. Um, there's no rhyme or way or rhyme or way. There's no way that I usually do this. I usually just grab these little stickers and fill out my dashboard like this. Um, and then I just write in my stuff. Someone asked me a while back, what pens do I use for the plum planner? like on this general dashboard area. And I think I answered this in a recent or in that time when, when it was asked. Basically, I just use regular ballpoint pen. I'm not, um, I'm not in the business for trying to figure out, you know, like what pens work best with this. It's just like, you know, it's whatever, uh, works <laughs> if that makes sense it's just whatever works I don't see any stickers on here that I could basically use um but I am gonna put like a priority sticker like maybe right here only because there are some priorities I kind of use this for tracking but this time around I'm just gonna use it for priorities um so maybe this could be like a priorities and then maybe this one could be for to do. I don't know. Maybe to do. Yeah, let's go with to do. So priorities and to do. I kind of feel like in a sense that's the same thing. But anyway, and then this one I'm going to use for birthday. I know these don't exactly match for say or like go like this, but I kind of just use my kit like however I want to. Um, and then I use these little dot stickers to um, basically like this. 
So I'll just put some down so that way I can be like, okay, these are my priorities. And then I just fill in the lines. This is how I do my dashboard. This is, you know, everyone is different on how they do theirs. And then for to do, I'm going to use the red ones just to break it up a little bit. I don't use any tweezers. I see people using tweezers and stuff. I am just not that person. I don't have that kind of patience. I'm not that kind of perfectionist. I like it neat, but I'm just not like that. Okay. And then for here, I don't know what I'm going to do there. Um, I could put events, events there. I don't have a sticker. Oh, yeah, I do. There we go. Events. Um, maybe like, maybe like right, mm, maybe like right here. Oh, that's not going to work. That's going to look tacky. Um, I do have a vacation sticker like right there. Um, hmm. I kind of wanted to save this, but I'm just going to use it. No. Okay. Ha! Let's put this back. Let's put this back. So I hope this is somewhat entertaining. I might cut a lot of this footage just because it's, it's not going to be as entertaining just watching me lay down stickers and stuff. But hopefully you guys are somewhat going to enjoy it. Um, I know it's not for everyone. Everyone doesn't like to see people lay down stickers. I'm one of those people who want to see how you use something versus you just laying down a bunch of stickers. That's just me personally. Okay, so um, this area, I'm going to use blue. I'm just going to use blue for this, this time. My, this is going to be my focus. And my focus this month is the June trip. June trip. Getting all things done. Because I've slacked off a lot. Um, and then I usually put some kind of quote right here and I'm going to leave that um, off because I, I'm, I'm just going to think about a little quote. For birthdays, I'm going to use uh, this. Oh my God, I can't pick it up. I want to use one of these little dots to basically, let me pull that out the way, to basically indicate my son's birthday. And then this one's going to be Ashton turns two, turns second year. I don't know why I wrote second and then I just kind of went with it. Um, uh, family vacation. Oh, I'm going to use another one for family vacation, possibly using this color now. So... Family vacation end of month. I'm gonna write. Um, I'm gonna write like where we're going, but I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't want to. I mean, telling you guys one thing about you know like the trip is one thing, but telling where I'm going is a bit much. There are some creepy people out there. Um, Husband is off on June 26th through July 7th. And then um, reminders. This one's going to be a reminder. So reminders. So the reminder is going to be... Um, and if I have to use different color dots, I do have some. So the re reminder is going to be, um, is that my mother-in-law, mother-in-law comes 
on June 25th, early a.m. I also have some packages coming. So let's do that. Packages come this month. Um, June 2nd and through because I have some that are coming. Uh, another reminder, or let's say the priority, since we have that one down, the priorities for this month is our guest room, guest room clean, um, laundry, guest room sheets, oops, guest sheets, that works, uh, hallway closet, clean hallway closet clean out and then um oh pull suitcases down and if i can think of one more oh clean out the car clean out car um so that's what needs to be done for like the top priorities what I need to do is um, press all clothes, press clothes. I need to press the dresses that I'm wearing for for the dinner res res what the dinner reservations that we have. So press clothing, uh, pack clothes. I need to buy toiletries. Um, so no items um and i need to do a budget budget sheet for trip and also what's a um what's a reminder but also a to do um a big to do is i need to pull all of the um why is this so crooked I need to pull, damn it. Okay, well, I fucked this one up. So there's that. I need to pull, um, gosh, what is it? What am I trying to say? I need to pull the reservation sheets. So we have a couple of reservations. I booked a couple of things and I need to just actually pull them out. So um, get all itinerary things out and double check the times, dates, and locations for June trip. Okay. So that's my dashboard. That's basically how I shuffle through that. I just use these little stickers. It's super simple. It usually doesn't take me that long, but because I'm filming, it takes a little longer than usual. Um, but that's basically how I do this. I just shuffle through and write down like the things that may be going on for the month. And that's how I do that. And then all I'm gonna do is stick this back on here how was this to begin i think it was like this right no it wasn't i'm lying okay it was like this um my planning is just so it's so boring this uh video may not get liked or viewed as much but i i'm at least going to show you how i do this so all right, this is the head honcho of everything. This is basically the general planning. So we've got to break down this thread um, for clarification purposes. This is my weekly, I do the weekly priorities. This is the vertical layout. And so I have a habit tracker. And then what I use is I use the happy planner mini. Um, I think these are like the note pages. 
I'm not really sure if they're like a daily or note pages. I got them out of Hobby Lobby and I've just, I've grown to loving the dashboard layout. So I don't really like Happy Planner, but they do have one layout in specific that I like, which is the, the dashboard layout. I really like that layout a lot. So um, what I wish the Plum Planner had was something very similar to that, which would include all of this and this. But because it does not, um, what I use this for is basically like the, the dashboard layout that the Happy Planner has. So I like that this has a don't forget section, but I also use this box here for the meals of the week. So I will do a general meal plan for the week and then I will write down all of those said meals here and where the changes happen is basically whatever we're having for the week. If I look through this and I'm not filling that meal or I didn't buy the ingredients for that meal, we change. So I usually do all my crossing out and stuff here because this is basically where the, the planner is turned to is on the weekly section. In the actual meal planning section is where I basically go in and then correct everything and re-meal plan because sometimes this gets a bit confusing, but this is where the changes happen a lot. I do have a space here where it says do all the things and I basically just use this section to do like the top things for that week. So sometimes there's all four, sometimes there's more than four, sometimes there's one or two, but I use that for that space. And then the back I just use for general weekly notes because as great as the Plum Planner layout is, it doesn't really a lot for a place of notes. Like you have all of this space here in the vertical layout, but I don't like to write my notes that way um, because sometimes they're not day specific. So I just want a space where I can write them. Um, so yeah, I use the dashboard layout for that. Now, what I do need to do is because I said that I was gonna do some stickering and basically my stickering is not like, it's not like the typical, I mean, I do decorate, but I'm not like the typical, um, it's not like the typical, like just laying down a bunch of stickers and not filling them out. I kind of just try to find stickers relevant to the things that I want to stand out more because I'm a visual person and that's how I have to see things. Um, I think I'm going to use a top priority sticker for the week because, first of all, I want to see how big this sticker is and how much overlap am I looking at. Uh, this one might be a, a tad bit too big for what I'm trying to do. But basically what I think I want to do is I think I want to do like a priority sticker. I usually don't do anything with this box because it's just kind of like an odd box. I, I think people use it for like a quote or some sort. I basically don't do that. Uh, it just doesn't, it doesn't work for me. So I'd end up using it for um, just a random sticker of the week. But I think what I'm going to do for this particular week is use it for like a top priorities. So even if I set daily priorities, if I don't get all the things done on, you know, like my spreads like my daily spreads I have at least three things that I want to accomplish for the week so that's what I think I'm going to do there so three things that I want to accomplish I do have a space for that where it says important this week um but I think I'm going to leave that as such what I think I'm going to do though is just put like a little sticker there because it kind of looks very uh, plain without something. So I think if anything, here, I don't like this one. Let's go with um, something else. Um, hmm, I don't really have many stickers in this book. I do have another book, but uh, I don't really have it close by. So here's that. 
let's go with this one and um, we can stick it like kind of like right there all right so that's that oh I'm not done with this so this book has a couple of boxes that are really really nice um, especially when you're trying to do like so like I said my son has um, he has like appointments and stuff throughout the week. Uh, so what I like to do is I like to take these boxes and I like to write appointments in them. They're really good for smaller planners. Like um, my freaking, what is it? My freaking um, passport can take this size really, really well. So let's see. That's probably crooked, but we can probably make it work. So Wednesday, he has an appointment. And then Thursday, he also has an appointment. His appointments are different this week because of the holiday. So basically, all I'm doing is just plopping like these stickers down. Because those are his appointment days. Um... Okay, and then the Monday is a holiday, so there's not really anything going on for that day. So what I think I'm going to do is use a chores sticker or something. Let's see what we can do. Um, check it off. What I think I'm going to do is use just use a box. Let's just use a box to kind of like cover up some of the day because really in all honesty the only things I have to do is housework and well let's see can we put mm, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot Tuesday so let's do Tuesday instead Okay. All right. And then, like I said, Monday. And I don't kind of like the fact that this is like right here like this because these colors. So I'm going to try to break it up a little bit with some color. That will help a whole lot. Um, I have to remember to stay in frame too. So reminder. Oh, um. There's a package coming. Oh, I keep wanting to use these colors, um, but I don't have any dark colors. So maybe I can use this to do sticker. Maybe I can use it for here. I hear my son outside the door. <laughs> maybe I can use... Uh, <laughs> He's so cute. I hear his little giggles. All right, maybe I can do that here. And it might look wonky right now, but when I fill it out, it won't look so bad, actually. So it looks like I just laid down a bunch of stickers, but really, when I put this together, it will look so, so, so much better. All right, so what I like to do is I like to time my son's appointments. It just lets me see it more clearly. So I use this little sticker pack. Um, again, I know this is not like everyone's forte for like the like planning. I know it's not your forte. I get it. Um, I totally get it. But I wanted to at least share this for those. This week I'm going to use a hydration sticker because my water intake has been trash. So we're going to use a hydration sticker this week and plop it right there. Hey loves, future jazz popping in. So I realized when I laid down that hydration sticker that it actually was just a daily hydration sticker and not the weekly um, trackers that I'm used to pulling all the time. So what I did is I 
pull that one up that I stuck like right there. My goodness, we're blurring out. Um, I pulled that one up and I went ahead and I laid down some hydration stickers um, on each of the days. And that is basically the only change that I made. So I wanted to pop in because I know it looks a little weird when seeing this in the video, but I did go ahead and fix it. So that's all that I wanted to reference. But I wanted to share this little aspect of planning so that people can like see that this is how I, I prep for a week. This is what I do for, for the week, if that makes sense. So yeah, um, I thought I had like little, here we go. I was gonna say, I thought I had like little clocks somewhere in this pack. So I like to use these for like the timed stuff. So I'll show you how I fill this out really quick. So we're gonna stick that right there. And we're also gonna stick it right here. I feel like it's crooked, Jesus. It is crooked. All right, let me pull this one up. I probably fucked it up, so that's it's not gonna work anymore. All right, oops, oops. Hopefully, uh, like I said, I was not boring for you because <laughs> It's not like, playing with me's are not as fun as they used to be when I used to watch them. So I kind of feel like when I do a plan with me, it is very boring. Maybe not to someone who enjoys, you know, like playing with me's. But to me, I just feel like, I don't know. Sometimes it's just a little boring watching people talk and lay down stickers. Unless they're really talking about something interesting. I feel like the conversation needs to be interesting in order to keep me engaged so like i said my son has appointments so um for well for starters um i think what i'm gonna do is some weather stickers across the top but i'll do that last so my son so ashton has an appointment today at 1 p.m. And then he also has another appointment on this day. So it would help if my tripod wasn't right directly smack dab in the middle of me. So Ashton has an appointment today at 1 p.m. And what I want to do here is house chores. Um, garbage disposal. Uh, probably spelled that so wrong. Uh, trash pool. And then medication. And whether or not we spend money. That's what I like to track. I like to track whether or not I've done house chores, whether or not we did the garbage disposal. We usually do it on Fridays. Um, trash, trash pull the whole house. That's a big thing for me. Medications and whether or not I personally spent money. The top priorities for this week is we need to get a house filter, HVAC. Um, I also need to um, uh, projects, June projects. And I don't think I have a third priority for this week. So because it's such a short week to begin with. The only two things is, excuse me, I need to do the house, we need to change the house filter and I need to work on our June, pro uh, I do have a, I do have a third one, the June trip. I need to be working on that until it's completely done, until I have everything the way that it needs to be. Okay, so let's see what else is going on for the week. Um... 
this is Memorial Day. So I pulled out, and I don't even know if I have, um, oh, I know, I know, I know, I know what needs to go in here. So basically what I would need is a red pen. So I need to pull out my red pen. And this is, so just to be clear, this is basically, it's right in front of me, this is basically how I plan across all my planners. It's just that in the plum planner, things are basically laid out and I just fill in. But I basically do the same kind of planning process across all of my planners. And this way, it kind of helps me uh, know what's going on. So, um, Tuesday, which is uh, May... 30th, we need to follow up with Barb from speech therapy, um, if we have not already done so. So that's a pretty big one. I don't think there's anything else really huge like that this week. But what I am going to do for the top portion of this is, so in recent, I was doing a lot of weather tracking. I don't know if I have any weather stickers in here anymore. I was kind of using them quite a bit, so I probably don't have any more. Um, if, I, if I do, I'm not really seeing it. Uh, I probably don't. Um, well, I have these rain ones. I don't really know what the temp is going to be, but I'm just going to do a cross mix between cloudy and sunny. So basically what I do, oops, what I do is I just plop this here. I've seen someone do this in their plum planner spread and I really like the idea of, oh shit, <laughs> You guys are hearing me cuss a lot in this, and I do apologize. I'm really not that bad, but uh, there we go. Hopefully that stays down. I'm just going to do a cross mix of this. I've seen, like I said, I've seen people do this in their plum planner um, spreads, and I really liked how it looked uh, because sometimes I really don't know what to do with these vertical boxes like this, but I really like this idea of like tracking the weather for the week up top or writing in the predicted weather for the week. And because I am filming on my current phone and I have no idea where my other phone is that I was using previous, um, I'm gonna leave it blank like this and then I'll just fill it in later. And here. And here. Oops. Can I get it? All right. All right. So that is that. Get off my page. Um, trying to think. So Monday is Memorial Day, like I said. So uh holidays well let's use a box sticker for that i like to use this book so much i need a new one because i've used quite a bit of it but i like this box a lot it just works for my life like the little clear or not clear but just basic white boxes they just work so well for me um so Memorial Day and then to do so this is today we need to do um gosh what needs to happen oh bathrooms kitchen Um, floors, laundry, um, 
What else needs to happen? Clear the fridge. Um, trash pool. Uh, garbage disposal. Um, change. Bedding. I usually have a day for bedding, but I'm just going to do it tomorrow. And then laundry, bathroom, towels. I kind of feel like I just did the towels today. Um, but I'm probably going to do it again. And then Tuesday is garbage day. So basically, um, garbage day. Today, I think my husband has practice. So my husband uh, has softball practice on, I believe, Mondays and Wednesdays. I don't know if he has practice on this day. Uh, so I'm going to write it in red. That is, I know for sure it's on Wednesday. So hubby has softball practice today at 5 to 7 p so he has practice on that day friday is also a garbage day um garbage day today and because this was a holiday week uh all the original appointments that my son usually would have which are on monday wednesdays and then he would have two more on mondays and fridays um and then one more <laughs> but because the speech therapy one won't start until sometime this month and then the other two those ones are going to be changing periodically so I can't for say all of his appointments at the present, but I do know for this coming week, he does have two, uh, the, uh, which is it? The occupational one. And then he also has, what is this? This one is the occupational one. Ashton's occupational appointment appointment is today not the new parent support appointment and that's my little note for this because I will definitely forget and I'll say what appointment is this but I know it's the occupational one and then I don't have anything for Saturday now in terms of like this uh I really don't know what to expect yet I kind of fill this out towards like the end of the day it's still pretty early in the day to decide what to do with that at the pressing moment but just to give you like some visuals so let me get those things out of the way to give you some visuals we set up our dashboard um, and I'm going to cut the video here because we would be here all day if I continue to go through the month of June planning. So we set up the month of uh, June's dashboard. This is just a general breakdown of like what the birthdays are, what the events are, what my reminders are for this month, the priorities that need to be done, the to do. And then what we do is we take little bits from this, um, which is not a lot, but we take a little bit from that and we plug in where we need to plug in for our week. So one of my priorities is the guest room. I'm going to try to work on a little bit of the guest room on Monday. So that's washing stuff. Um, and then that will try to tack down my priorities that I need to get done for the month. Um, I try to keep everything kind of small because um, with too many priorities and too many to do's, you can clearly overwhelm yourself very very quick so I try to just take a little bit from this and incorporate it throughout the week with everything else that I have going on but this is a general 
weekly setup. This is how it looks. This is what I do. This is what I've been doing across all of my planners. It's just breaking down the tasks little by little and including them along with other things that I have going on throughout the month, throughout the weeks. So hopefully that wasn't too boring for you. Hopefully you kind of see like my process of how I lay everything out, how I'm able to process everything. Hopefully you, you guys were able to take away something from it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think and I will catch you guys real soon in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.